The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hey everyone, this is Kevin. Uh, if you can hear me, just type a Y either in the question box or the chat box. And then I'll know you can hear me and then, uh, perfect. All right. Thanks, Dave and Jason and Myron. All right. Well, let's, uh, get started. We're going to have some people probably show up late, but, uh, you know, they won't bother us. So, uh, I want to thank you all for joining me. Most of you, it's the evening. Uh, earlier I did one today and it was, it was in the afternoon, but it was evening for most of the European people that were on the call. So uh, this is going to be exciting because this is we're going to talk about creating profitable trading strategies and kind of uh, that cover sheet kind of says it all. You know, you develop a system on the left and the white, and you hope when you go live it's turns blue uh, and keeps going up and. Uh, Keep this system in mind because I'll talk about this system a little bit later. But you can see after it's been developed, it actually keeps going. So today we're going to talk about how to create profitable trading strategies. And the key points of that, it's without fear and it's without curve fitting. Because those are two big things that get a lot of people. So... Uh, there's going to be some some cool stuff that we're going to talk about and hit on today. And my goal really is just to get you on the path to developing profitable trading strategies. Obviously, there's there's only so much we can talk about today. But uh, if I get you in the right mindset and get you thinking about what you need to do to actually start developing some profitable trading approaches, then uh, I've kind of done my job. So... Uh, we're going to talk a lot of different things, and if you stay until the end, I'll be giving away an autographed copy of my book. Uh, it's a best-selling book, Building Winning Algorithmic Trading Systems, and uh, probably some of you already have it, but uh, I'll have you guys uh, answer a question, and uh, it's kind of a speed test, and whoever gets the right answer uh one of you I will pick, and you'll get an autographed copy of my book. So, you know, well, what makes this different? You know, this little free webinar, you see free trading webinars all over the place, right? They're all every day, practically. Somebody's hitting you up with one. Well, um, not to sound egotistical, but um, the big difference between this one and everyone else is me. And that's me right there. Uh, in my experience, in my background, and my history of, of verified performance that you can go out and you can find on the internet. You know, I I am a full-time futures trader, not a sim trader. You know, you, if you want a sim trader, go to Twitter. There's so many people there that uh, just trade sim, and oh wow, man, they make money every day. It's pretty amazing, but. Uh, I'm a real trader, so you know I, I'll admit I don't make money every day, but that doesn't mean what I do isn't real. It's definitely real, and I've been trading for 25 years. The last nine or so have been uh, full time, so I was able to make that leap from part time trader to full time trader. So I've learned a lot of things through the years because uh, I've done tons of things bad and incorrect. Um, and you'll see that in what I'm talking about. Three years in a row, I was able to win a, a real money trading contest, finish either in first or second place. Each of those years, over 100% annual return. And this is against some of the best traders in the world who competed with this. Um, and it was a year-long contest. It was real money. So, you know, it wasn't one of these uh, sim contests that you see people going for the moon and, and then blowing out. This was real money. That's important. And, uh, you know, the, the fact that I was able to beat out some really good traders, uh, some of those who are my friends now, uh, is pretty cool. And then, uh, again, I talked about my book on algorithmic trading. It's been uh, out for about three years, and it's still uh, – 
pretty much in the top 10 or top 20 most time most days at uh, Amazon. So it's still selling pretty well. So people are really picking up on the message, and it still remains uh, you know relevant today, which is which is pretty important because changing uh, trading is changing all the time. And then uh, I've won awards. My books won awards, and also my trading workshop has won some awards. So uh, that's kind of what makes this webinar unique is my background, what I bring to the table compared to uh, a lot of people. Now, uh, so that's one picture of me. There's another another picture of me that comes from a trading review site, and that's this little picture of this rat. And you might say, why are you called a rat? Well, if you've ever gone to tradingschools.org, uh, I'm the only one there who's ever had two reviews uh, both five-star perfect reviews. Most of the reviews are one-star because, hey, let's face it, most of the people out there running trading rooms or selling trading education are, are pretty much frauds. Uh, it's amazing. But I, w I got two five-star reviews there. And uh, it's funny because in the review, which I, I put the quote where he calls me a little rat, but the reason was not because of what I teach, but because... I'm a winning trader, and I was it's kind of sarcasm he was using here where I take from some of these losing traders. So, uh, you know, if that's how you want to identify me, uh, that's kind of cool because uh, my dad way back in the day used to own a pest control company, so he used to exterminate these little rats. So it's kind of, uh, kind of funny. So, you know, with my full-time trading and the contest wins and everything else, I think I've done a lot of things right trading-wise, but not from the start, definitely. And I've done a ton of things wrong, uh, more, <laughs> more than I care to, care to talk about. But it's good because I've learned a lot of things, and I'm going to share some of those things with you today. But, you know, the first 10 to 15 years, I would say, doing trading I, I was like a, an explorer walking through the desert without a map and I was just going all over the place I didn't know what to do I don't recommend that for anybody but it, it, it definitely ended up working for me you know one of the big things I realized is hey just because you have an optimized strategy doesn't mean it's going to be profitable and, and what do I mean by that take a look at this equity curve and let's just say you were developing the system in the white area that's your walk forward testing which is what I use oh man that looks like a great system it's always going up and then you go live and it turns out in the blue where it just kind of crashes down now this happened to be Bitcoin I was playing around with uh, coincidentally a long only system in Bitcoin and of course that was right around that time crashed in late December but you get my point the left side was optimized you know nothing says it's going to continue to go and remain profitable and most of the time optimized and over optimized really means the opposite it means it won't be profitable and so you got to keep that in mind also I don't know how long I searched for holy grail you know, some strategy that would just print money. Well, there is no holy grail. You know, you guys, tell me, you guys have looked for it, right? Yeah, people are saying yes. You guys have looked for it. I've looked for it. It doesn't exist. So we got to quit looking for it. And then, hey, even if you find something that's tradable, your fear can ru overrule everything and just destroy whatever you've done. Fear's a big player in all this and you know if you're fearful it doesn't matter you're gonna lose um, and so that's something to keep in mind too so I discovered all this the hard way by losing money you know uh, way back when there there wasn't as much good information like there is today uh, you know certainly there's nobody teaching what I taught what I, there was nobody back then who taught what I'm teaching today because if there was, I would have been 
years, I would have wiped years off of my losing. I uh, guarantee it. I would have not done a lot of the things I did. I ended up learning the hard way. And that was by losing money. It was kind of like going to uh, college and just continuously paying tuition. And you just pay again and again. And, you know, it seemed like every month they wanted more money. And I was like, oh, my goodness. It was bad. But you're lucky because you get to cheat and get the easy way, uh, especially if you kind of follow what I'm doing. That will shave some years off of what you're doing. So like I said, I learned the hard way. Well, what, what was that? For me, the hard way was kind of like being on this hamster wheel where, hey, I'd get on the, the wheel. I'd create a strategy incorrectly. I'd over-optimize. I'd curve fit. I'd ignore slippage, I, you know, all these things that, um, you know, a lot of new people don't know to avoid. I develop it incorrectly. I would create a great back test. That was step two. I would kept creating a back test. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go back and add another filter. Kept making a straighter and straighter equity curve, you know, and, and, and boy, once it looked great, I was so excited. I mean, you guys, you guys have been there, right? Creating a great looking equity curve and man, you can't wait to trade it the next day. Oh, it's going to be awesome. And then you go trade it live and you lose money. And then you, you know, you kind of sigh and your shoulders kind of hunched down. Oh, and then what do you do? You start over at step one. Create your next strategy. But the problem is you're still creating them incorrectly. You know, maybe you get a little bit better, but, uh, you know, most people just keep doing things the same way. And that's why I put this hamster wheel here. You just keep running around and you don't get anywhere. And trust me, I, that's how I did it. I did that way too long. So the question is, do you want an easier way to create trading strategies? And some of you, I see some of you saying, yes, of course, of course, who doesn't? Because if you find an easier way, you can, I'm sure you guys can all imagine yourself trading 5, 10, 20 strategies or even more. And the cool thing is when you do it right, you're not going to be over-optimizing. And you're not going to have fear. Both of those are huge. And we're going to talk about both of those. And that's what I've been doing the past number of years. I've created hundreds of strategies. Right now I'm trading over 80. And I have confidence in what I'm doing. Because I, I feel I'm doing it the right way. Not Maybe not the only right way. Because certainly there's people who who don't do some of the things I do, like walk forward testing and that kind of thing. But I do what I know works, and it works for me, and it works for people who I've worked with, and that gives me confidence to keep doing it. And say, wow, hey, this works. It's a repeatable process. And once you have a process that you know works, wow, man, that's really cool because you can just go and create strategy and strategy and just keep going. But, you know, it, it doesn't mean it's all sunshine and happiness. And I'm going to show you some equity curves and stuff, but you got to realize these are hypothetical and, you know, you got to realize all these risks. This is a standard U.S. government disclaimer, but you guys have seen this before, I'm sure. But remember, just because it happens to somebody else doesn't mean it, it can happen. It, it will happen to you. It could. But just keep that in mind. All right. So let's go. What uh, I'm going to give you three secrets today that will help you out. And the first one, and we're going to talk about each of these in turn. First one is most traders screw up. Second one is there is no holy grail. And the third one is the fear can crush you. And I've kind of touched on these already, but I'm going to go into some detail on it. 
You know, the first one, most traders screw up when developing strategies. It's amazing how people mess up and do things incorrectly. And you can blame the software because that kind of encourages it. You can blame people thinking they know what they're doing. Uh, there's a lot of reasons. I'll give you, a, give you a good story. There was a guy on a trading forum who uh, sent me an in-sample and out-of-sample performance report because he told me that his strategy fell apart in live trading, real-time trading. I shouldn't even say live trading. He wasn't trading real money with it. But after he developed the system, then he'd watch it in real time and see how it did, just, you know, looking at the back test every day kind of thing. And, you know, take a look, take a look at the performance report on the, on the left. Wow, man, that looks pretty good. A profit factor of 13.9. But right away, that should set off some warning bells, man. That's just incredible, right? But, okay, that looks good. But then look over on the performance summary on the right. Wah, wah, you know, profit factor 0 0.9. You know, he's losing money there. And it, it's a huge discrepancy between the profit in sample and out of sample. So he said, hey, can you can you tell me why? So he had been developing systems for probably a few years at this point, And this is where he was stuck. And I felt bad for him because he just didn't realize what he was doing wrong. He didn't real, and that's that's why I call it a secret because most people don't even realize they're developing it wrong. He certainly thought he was doing everything right, but he wasn't. So when I went and looked at the uh, performance report in the settings page, right off the bat, I found five mistakes he was making. Things that were probably affecting that disconnect between real time and back test. And I'm not going to go through them all, but hopefully you can look at this and say, oh yeah, I, I understand why that would be a mistake. And if you don't, think about, hey, I got to get educated to understand why that's an issue. I'll just touch on number three, where it lists all his variables that he's optimizing. I've got six listed there, and then I, I hid 105 more. So this, this dude was optimizing 111 variables for one strategy. My goodness, can you imagine what the, what the code looked like for that? To have 111 variables? <laughs> oh, man. And 111 variables, and he only had 149 trades. And it, it didn't click in his head that he was over-optimizing and he was just curve-fitting. Um, you know, think about curve-fitting. The more points you you pick out to identify, the the, the more your curve's going to do exactly what you want it to do, which is, in this case, pick good trades. So this dude was making tons of mistakes, and he didn't realize it. And that's the point here. If you're going to start off developing good strategies, you need to do things the right way. And you could say, oh, Kev, what, hey, what's the right way? Well, you know, listening to what I'm telling you is definitely a, a step in the right direction, the right way. But there's a lot to it. It is not super simple. Okay, so that's secret number one. Secret number two Traders are always searching for the Holy Grail. I mean, everybody's done it, I think. Um, you know, if you just take a look at the flavor of the day, you got all this, uh, all these different kind of things. And I'm going to put a poll up here because I, I kind of want to see what people say here. Um, of how many of these four methods have you tried? So just answer if you can. And... I'll give you a, a couple seconds to, to answer it. There's order flow trading, there's price action, there's machine learning, there's genetic al algorithms. And all of those at one point in time have been like the new it thing, right? 
people all talking about, oh, hey, I got to start doing price action and then order flow and all this. Now, most of you, okay, I'll close the poll. Most of you have tried uh, one or two of those. Two-thirds of you said, hey, I've tried one or two. And only about 20% or so have never tried any of these. So almost everybody has tried these. So that just means that this uh, marketing of all these particular methods has gotten to you because they all try to promote themselves as like the latest and greatest and the best thing. And this is going to be what does it, you know, and 75% of you have tried at least one of these uh, and 25% have have done three or four of them. So you've tried just about everything. And, you know, my answer is, has it worked? Well, for most people, the answer is no, because it's just another step searching for the Holy Grail. And you try it out, and you're like, oh, man, this doesn't work. Or, you know, you give it a little try with price action, and then you, you figure out that the people – promoting price action are, are really good at hindsight looking at it, but not in real time. There was one guy I won't mention who's, uh, he's, he has a, a website and stuff and you'd look, he does after uh, the day's over, he does analysis of all the price action and man, he hits it all the time. It looks great. Oh yeah, it makes sense. Double top, you know, a failed failure, blah, blah, blah. Um, but if you listen to him in real time, he's like, well, it might be long. It might be a short here. And then like two, uh, 20 seconds later, you'll, you'll hear, yeah, I just got out of my long. And you're like, what, what, where, <laughs> how'd I miss that? You just said you have no idea what's going on. Now you just got out. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the kind of game some, some people play. But the point is people are looking for a whole, Holy Grail with methods. They're all. They also do it with strategies. So, here's the, uh, my second poll, and uh, this is the only other poll I'm gonna have you guys do. How many of these strategies, if you had these back tests, how many of these would you trade? How many would you be willing to put real money behind? And we're going to wait about another five seconds or so just for some more people to vote. And uh, it's kind of interesting because you guys are voting the same way that the first group did, which two-thirds of you, 67%, would not trade any of these. Well, here's a little secret. These are real strategies and guess what? I trade them all with my own money. And you could say, what? I don't like these. Look at look at those drawdowns. Oh, my gosh. And then look over at this U.S. 30-year uh, bond curve. And, yeah, it was doing good early. and But lately, you know, the slope has changed. It's not as good. And people will find tons of stuff wrong with them. And you guys have just kind of proven that and the group earlier today had the same reaction that these are not good enough. You wouldn't trade any of them. But the funny thing is, look at look at the different markets here. You got Japanese yen, silver, U.S. Uh, bonds and stuff. You take these kind of things, you put them together. If they're uncorrelated, and all of a sudden your equity curve looks a lot better. The more you trade, the smoother your equity curve comes. And that's the real answer. It's not necessarily the holy grail, but it's a lot closer than any one strategy. You trade multiple strategies. And the more uncorrelated strategies you trade, the smoother your equity curve comes becomes. You know, what you end up having when this one's in this flat period, maybe this other one's making new highs, and they kind of balance each other out. It's really cool, and it works, and that's why I trade. You might say, well, why do you trade 80 strategies? That's why, because you trade uncorrelated strategies 
You can do it. And that's the big point. You can succeed with less imperfection. So none of those equity curves look that great by themselves. You know, they all had flaws. In, and if I was trading just one system, I probably wouldn't want to trade it, right? Because, man, I wouldn't want to go through flat periods and drawdowns with one. But when you trade a whole bunch of systems, they kind of even each other out. And you can succeed without being perfect. And when you come to that realization that that's possible, that's really cool. And if you leave today with nothing else, just remember there is no holy grail. And the fact that you're looking for one and expecting perfection in a back test for a strategy and that kind of thing, that's not the way to think. That's not the way professional traders think. You know, uh, the only people who win every day are probably some of the high-frequency hedge funds that can do this millisecond-type trading. But that's not you or me as a retail trader. We can't do that. So you got to go with what's practical, and that kind of eliminates perfection. All right. So that's secret number two. Secret number three is fear. And most traders just can't overcome their fear. And I'll give you a good story about that because fear is something you got to overcome in, in, you know, just any part of life. There's an indoor amusement park over by where I live. They claim they're the biggest one in the world. It's kind of an obstacle course kind of thing with zip lines and all this stuff. But one of the things they have, I call the circular steps of doom. I don't know the real name for it, but what it is, you see us in the picture, you start over here on the far right and you jump up on this green thing. It's a little platform and, and you're buckled in with a tether to the ceiling. And then you got to jump from from that low one, up one, up one, and you go around the circle until you finally get to the top where it's probably 20 or 25 feet, you're 20, 25 feet up on this little platform. And um, if, you, if you are scared at all of heights, man, this is what will get you, the circular steps of doom. And so my kids, kids did it, and it was kind of interesting how they approached it. And this is my son. Actually, this is a picture of my son doing it, but his first attempt, he only made it like two. He freaked out, jumped off, but he was like, hey, I think I can do this. He went back a little bit later, made it about halfway up, and then jumped off. You know, and then obviously the tether holds you, so when you jump, you just kind of glide down. But on his third attempt, he was successful. He made it all the way to the top. And you can see this is this was his third attempt where he's already close to making it. Well, he made the, the next three. Well, okay. You could say, well, yeah, it's great. What does that have to do with trading? Same thing in trading. The first strategy you create, you're going to have a lot of fear. You know, you're going to have a lot of doubt. Did you over-optimize? Did you trick the backtest engine? Oh, man, did you look at all the results? You know, you're going to have fear. But if you have a, a process that you follow and you try the, you do your second strategy, ah, you're going to have a little less fear. You're going to be wary, but, hey, you're going to be a little bit better. Will the strategy work? Did you just get lucky? That's, those are the kind of questions that come through your mind. Not necessarily did I over-optimize, but you know, maybe you got lucky with that first one, and that's what you're kind of worried about. So you got some fear, but not as much. But then once you get to, say, the third strategy and then beyond, then your fear starts to dissipate because you're like, wow, I have a process I'm using to develop strategies. I have confidence in them. I can trade successfully. I know what I'm doing. And that's huge. That's huge for what you're looking at. So 
The point is, if you have confidence in the strategies that you develop and your process, you begin to trade without fear. And that's a biggie. Um, you know, fear torpedoes just about everybody. So you want to get that confidence, and you get that confidence by having a process. And so those are the secrets. You know, most people screw up. Remember, there's no holy grail, and fear can crush you. And what's interesting is I have a student, Francisco, uh, from Brazil, and he and I have met up a couple times in person. He took uh, my online workshop, I think, a couple of years ago. But he kind of uh, gave me a, a quote that sums up all these things pretty much in one sentence. Okay, he's a full-time trader. He took my course. Now he has a sound method for testing and validating the ideas, right? So he gets away from most of the mistakes traders make. And then he went from zero to 53 strategies in two years. So he realized, hey, it's not just about one strategy. It's about multiple strategies. And he went from no strategies to 53 in two years. And now he's a, he, he does a full algorithmic trading. He actually uh, trades for a hedge fund. And he was able to do this. And you think he has fear day to day? Well, you can see it. His face he doesn't look scared to me <laughs> but the point is he incorporated all that and now went from nothing and not believing in this to now believing in it and using it so that's pretty big okay so you know in the past 30 minutes or so we've talked about a lot of different things and I think everybody would agree it's been pretty useful right and I see some people saying yes but I, you know I can't cover everything right <laughs> I mean there's no way even an all-day workshop doesn't cover everything and you'll see that in a little bit but the big point is I know this stuff and I can help you where you need help and I can get you over the hump and start developing some, some good strategies. And I do that through this all-day online workshop that I run called Strategy Factory. And the, all the Strategy Factory is, it's kind of a neat way to think about taking trading ideas, doing some tests on them and evaluation, you know, kind of like machines, and then... Out one end comes either a completed strategy or scrap. You know, you throw it away and you start with something else. Uh, most of the time it's scrap, but you get a few good strategies, and that's, you know, it's just a process. And then it's just running the machines, and you just keep doing this and building your strategies. So, uh, it, and it really, really does work for a lot of people. And I'm the one who teaches it. I'm the only one who teaches it. And I'll take you from your idea into a viable strategy and I use these steps so this is these are the machines this is the process um, and you can follow this and get successful strategies and the way I've kind of set this up is that it eliminates a lot of these over optimizing mistakes and it minimizes the fear in everything so I do this in, in a workshop. I teach this once a month. The next one I'm teaching is next Friday. And it's an eight-hour class. It's live. You can ask questions. You type your questions in. It's a small group. Um, I only have three slots left, actually, for my January class. Uh, I keep it to 10 people or less just so everybody can ask questions. As part of this, I also give you some strategies, some strategies that I trade personally that kind of get you started. One's a mini S&P, one's a RTY, which is the old mini, it's mini Russell. It used to be called TF. And I give you four months of email support. Most people who take the class say that is the key, being able to email me and get their answers from me. You know, there's no intern that I have. There's no third, third world or third party type people that answer 
you know, it's me answering. Uh, one guy has sent me over 800 emails since he took the class. And he went from being pretty green to developing strategies that have passed and that are, are successful, are good strategies. So, you know, it was a lot of work on both our ends, especially his end. But with my email support, he was able to get over the hump. And then, like I said, I cannot teach all this in one day. So I also there's also 23 videos, uh, and that increases over time as, you know, sometimes people ask for, hey, could you explain this a little bit better kind of thing? So I give you all that. And that's what you get when you sign up for this workshop. And, you know, it's got a pretty high value. And, you know, so when I, when I put all this together, I was like, wow, you know, should I sell it? Should I be one of these $99 kind of person, you know, sell it real cheap kind of thing? And, and that was what I thought about at first. But then I realized, hey, if I want to provide personal support, I'm, a, I'm trading full time, right? So I don't have unlimited time to answer people's questions. So I kind of had to balance it. So I got to charge more. But the key is you definitely get the value because you get access to me and answer my questions. And, uh, you know, do I know all the answers? No. Um, but I'll tell you what, if I don't know the answer, I will get, I will find it for you. Or I'll flat out tell you. I won't BS you and tell you, hey, I don't know what the answer is, uh, or you know, I'll make some, I won't make something up. So, you know, you get the full benefit of my experience. You know, if I don't have experience, I don't have it. You know, just like somebody the other day said, hey, I want to start testing Ranko bars. I said, hey, dude, you're on your own because I've never done it and I never will. And there's a specific reason I won't, but if you want to test it, I can't, I can't help you. And he's like, Oh, okay. So those were my options. Uh, but at the same time, I want to make sure I give, give you a ton of stuff. So I've included some bonuses, some extra strategies. You know, usually people ask me, they say, Hey, can you develop a strategy for me? I usually charge about 1500 bucks for that. So two strategies, $3,000 in value, and both of these I trade myself. Uh, last year, if you had traded one contract of each, one yen and one unleaded gas, it would have been $17,000 in combined profits. And you can see the unleaded gas has kind of just been flat for a while, but it'll take off again, uh, at least I hope. And if it doesn't, hey, we have rules that if a strategy breaks, you know, this is all part of what you'd learn. And we move on. But you get these strategies. Uh, the yen strategy is a pretty nice one. I've been trading that one for about four or five years now, I think. It's pretty cool. So I add that in there in addition to the class and the, the core strategies and my email support and all the bonus videos. So, you know, just, just like I had choices, you have choices too, right? You know, your first option, hey, go it alone or, or you know, you'll fall for a trading room, some wannabe trader. Hey, if you're looking for that, just go to Twitter and you'll find plenty of people that are geniuses. And most of them are like 20 years old. And how these guys are such geniuses. <laughs> It just amazes me. I'm like, wow, how do you know so much? Well, hey, when you're trading on SIM and, you know, you, you don't post any losers, you, you look like a genius. You know, that's what I, I would call learning the hard and expensive way. And that's the way I did it. I don't recommend that for anybody. But it's an option. The second option is to align yourself with somebody proven. And, and hopefully at this point, you know, if you haven't done any kind of research on me, Hey, just Google my name, look around, and see what you find. And it'll be pretty clear. You know, I'm pretty authentic. I'm pretty transparent. And I've got a pretty good process of building strategies. And, and you might say, well, yeah, I don't know. Well, here, uh, I'll tell you something. I had 
a seminar, a live workshop in Cleveland uh, last September where it was only open to people who've taken this workshop. So first you got to take the workshop. So I did that and I said, well, hey, I'll have some people come to Cleveland to collaborate, learn some new stuff, build some systems, that kind of stuff. You know, I figured there'd probably be five or six people. I actually had 27 people show up. And this was uh, this picture was taken. We we had dinner at my house. I live on uh, Lake Erie, and uh, these guys all came from Kuwait, Germany, Hong Kong, uh, Canada, the U.S., Switzerland, all over the place. And uh, the one guy isn't hanging in the tree. I just put his picture up there because he missed the group dinner. But the point is, all these people had taken the class got enough out of the class that they decided they wanted even more and to work together with other people. Now you could say, well, hey, what, you know, who cares? These are just people who, who uh, you know, came to Cleveland, big deal. Well, one of the things that I have as part of this workshop is what I call the Strategy Factory Club. And I'm gonna explain how this works in a second, but the big thing is these people are people you're going to be working with. Maybe not directly, but you're going to get the benefit of their expertise. And I'll, I'll show you why, uh, how in a second. So what happens when you're, once you're a workshop student, you create a strategy using the rules and the process we've esta I've established, and you have to pass certain performance. You, you create a strategy, then you submit it to me, I evaluate it, and then I watch it in real time. I do this once a month, and I watch, excuse me, I watch everybody else's strategy too. And usually there's 20 to 30 strategies that are, are submitted every month. It, it varies. So people submit strategies, and they are evaluated for six months. And at the end of six months, all the ones that pass up this certain performance test get shared. So these were actually the strategies that were shared in uh, just this past month. The, the contest, contest, the club started in July, ended in December. It was a six month test. There were 11 strategies that passed. And you see there, ES, there's uh, coffee, soybean meal, gold, a whole bunch of different markets. And if you were one of the ones who submitted one, you would get all those in return. So basically, you'd since there's 11 of them and one of them is yours, you'd get 10 in return from, the, from some of those same people that you just saw who've been working with this for a while. So you do benefit from their expertise. Like, oh, man, is that cool. And uh, it's so cool that actually some other software uh, vendors, plat trading platform vendors, have, have tried to incorporate this in what they're doing. Um, but I was kind of doing it first. And I can do it because the process works. You know, I don't see anyone else doing this because, frankly, most of the things people do don't work. But this does. But in addition to this, I've also got a strategy factory forum. This is a secret forum, a special forum that is only for us. And I answer questions here. Uh, students answer questions. They uh, collaborate. They will post code and all sorts of little tools for Excel and that kind of thing. Um, just wanted to show you real quick just to just – walk you through it but you can see there's all sorts of different topics entry ideas exit ideas complete systems um, somebody created a simple artificial neural network that he posted and and there's all sorts of of things and if you look down here 158 people are are on this right now um, registered and there's 265 topics 1300 posts it's a pretty uh, it's getting more and more active the more people in there, but you get the benefit from everyone else who's taken the course and not only benefit from their strategies, 
but also benefit from them answering questions. So they'll answer some of your questions that maybe I don't get a chance to. Um, that's pretty awesome. So that's traders helping other traders, and that's bonus number two. We've got over 200 traders in the community. Not everybody actively contributes, but a lot do, and you can definitely get a ton of good strategies. And I'll show you that in a little bit with uh, one of our traders, Eric, and he has a good quote of how he's done with the Strategy Factory Club. So going back to this list, obviously you get the class, the core strategies, the email support, the bonus videos, then the two extra strategies. And then you get to participate in the Strategy Factory Club and the forum. And it's, it's starting to add up. There's a lot of stuff here. So the question is, you know, what's your excuse if you don't do this? Well, a lot of people, it really boils down to two things. First one is time. I don't have the time. This is an excuse I cannot go against. I cannot, I don't have any kind of rebuttal for it. Hey, if you tell me you don't have the time, if you only have 10 minutes a day to work on your financial future with developing trading strategies, hey, it's best just to drop out of this call right now. And, you know, don't bother. Don't even bother trying to trade. Because you'll, you, hey, I guarantee you, you'll find somebody out there who will say, hey, you only need 15 minutes a day to do this. Eh, it doesn't work that way. Think about anything you have in your life that was as a value. You had to work at it, right? You had to spend time on it. That's what this is. You've got to spend time on it. And if you don't, it's not going to work. So, um, you know, definitely want you to know that. The other thing is money. Hey, I don't have the money for whatever this costs. This is starting to look expensive. I don't have the money. That one I do have a good rebuttal for. I have a program with TradeStation. Uh, and if you don't use TradeStation, I encourage it. That's what most of the people I work with use. I've been using it for years. I do most of my automation through it. It's not perfect, but it works pretty good. But the cool thing is you, you open a TradeStation account, they will give you commission rebates until this course is paid for in full. So how does it work? You sign up for the workshop, you open a TradeStation account, you start trading, and then they'll give you once a month, they'll give you 20% commission rebates until the course is paid for in full. Wow. And you can say, hey, does this really work? A few years ago, I uh, used this rebate program to buy a trading computer. So I can tell you it definitely works. So basically, bonus number three is you get this for free. You can get this course, my workshop, all this stuff, that list right here, all this value, all these strategies for free. Wow, that's pretty cool. Well, okay, so you, you know, hey, yeah, but if your trading's going good, just keep doing what you're doing. You don't need this. But if not, you know, ask yourself, maybe you should try a proven method. And if you don't, if you're not asking yourself that, isn't that, that's just the definition of insanity, right? Doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. That's, you, if what you're doing is not working, you got to do something else. And this is certainly an option. So I mentioned uh, one of the students, Eric from Colorado. So he's had seven strategies passed through the Strategy Factory Club, and now he has uh, 86 strategies that he's gotten in return. And like he said, no one better to teach you to create strategies the correct way. Maybe there is somebody better, but, uh, you know, that was really nice of him to say that. But, uh, you know, I think it, I've kind of proven that I know what I'm doing, and that's that's pretty much a key. 
So I want to leave you with a couple more bonuses in case you're kind of thinking, oh, hey, maybe. Let's talk about crypto for a minute, and then we'll talk about repeating the class. So, you know, everybody's talking about Bitcoin, ah, Bitcoin and uh, Ripple and all this other stuff. So I started, you know, obviously uh, there's a lot of downside to it. You know, BitConnect, that just fell apart. It was a big Ponzi scheme. So the nice thing is the CME and the CBOE, the you know, some of the futures exchanges have actually started trading like a Bitcoin type futures. And that's nice because a lot of the, the risk, the counterparty risk goes away. You know, I had somebody who I was talking to back in spring who told me they had 5.5 Bitcoins in uh, with somebody. And then one day that exchange disappeared and apparently they had kept his private key and poof, his money's gone. Well, if you trade Bitcoin futures, you don't necessarily have to worry about that. So I've started looking at it, started creating some strategies. I don't have those ready yet, but I'm going to share those with anybody who's a strategy factory student. And you know what? It might be something as part of a portfolio where you trade a little bit of Bitcoin. You know, if nothing else, you'll be able to uh, say at some cocktail parties and dinners, oh, yeah, I trade Bitcoin, you know, and everybody, ooh, you know, <laughs> all of a sudden all the, all the women or, or men, if you're a lady, they'll start flocking to you because, ooh, Bitcoin. But the point is my help goes beyond even just the workshop, and I do this stuff to kind of help everybody along, get everybody better. But the material, the other part is the material is intense. Uh, like I, I've told people, it's like drinking water of a fire hose. And realizing that fact, what I do is I allow people to take the course over and over. Um, so next week's class, there's uh, probably six or seven old students who are going to retake the class. And just without any additional cost. So not only do I record it, but I also make sure you can come back and ask more questions. And there are some people who have taken the course two or three years ago who every once in a while will come back just for a refresher, just to see if there's something new or something they missed. Um, because they're always trying to get better. So I definitely encourage that. So that's another big thing. So when you add that, that's bonus number four, some crypto strategies. I'm probably going to have more than one strategy, but I, I just valued it at one strategy. And then, you know, being able to attend multiple times, altogether you're looking uh, five figures. And, and, you know, you might say, well, hey, is this is this really, really accurate? Well, yeah, others pay me. Other people have paid me $1,500 for a profitable strategy. People have come in, flown into Cleveland to consult with me for five days, and they've paid me five figures. So with all that, I mean, this course would be a great deal. I could charge $5,000, no problem. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but I could. But the thing you got to ask yourself is, well, hey, let's break it down. You know, if the only thing I got out of this was, were the five strategies and then eventually some of the Bitcoin strategies, would it be worth it? You know, that that's the old, hey, I give you some fish to feed you kind of model, right? Well, yeah, the, those strategies probably by themselves would be worth it. But what if all the workshop did was teach you to create profitable strategies? Would it be worth it then? Well, that's kind of teaching you how to fish, right? That's a that's a pretty pretty big part of it. You know, that's my main goal is to teach you how to create your own strategy. So that's teaching you how to fish. I and mean, that certainly makes it worth it. You create one or two strategies of your own that make money, that will pay for this course easily. And then if you use the trade station rebate and actually keep trading. Hey, 
it would definitely be worth it. And that's even going beyond the teaching you how to fish. And now I'm letting you use my boat and my rod and reel and my bait and everything, you know. You're just borrowing it all because it's not costing you everything, anything. So that's pretty cool. So if all the workshop does is even one of those things, it would definitely be worth that five thousand. I've put the price under three thousand, and that's, I think, a a, a really fair amount. Um, you know, it's, it's not free. I mean, nothing's free. Nothing worth anything is free. So I've put the link in the chat box. You can click on it and go to it. Or you can just go to my website, kjtradingsystems.com, and you'll see uh, the menu bar up at the top. It says Strategy Workshop. And just to remind you, here's all the things you're going to get. A ton of different things. And this is really going to set you on the road to trading well. Now, you have choices to make, right? And, of course, the first thing is do nothing and just say, oh, hey, comes a nice guy. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to take that course. And, hey, you wake up tomorrow and you're going to be trading the same as today. And you wake up next month and next year. And you're still going to be doing the same things and making the same mistakes. Hey, that's cool. That's an option. But, you know, maybe it's worth taking that second option of, hey, investing some money and then digging into this stuff. You know, think how long it's just going to take you to get through all the videos and, and the workshop and all the strategies and everything I give you. You're going to find lots of terrific information there. And you're going to have my help. You're not going to, I don't leave you out there floundering around where you're, oh, I don't know what to do now. All you do is email me. I get people, students emailing me every once in a while and say, oh, you know, I'm kind of frustrated. And sure enough, I'll help them out and help them get unstuck. And if you attend in, you know, the first hour or so, if you don't like it, if you say, wow, this isn't what I thought it would be, hey, years I've, I've given two people have requested it that way one person realized they were going to be building their own strategies and uh, I forget the other the reason for the other person but you just ask for it and you get it you get it back you, know, you just got to do it at the beginning before I give you everything because obviously you know otherwise people would just be taking all the strategies and trading them and then saying hey I, I want a refund yeah, that's not right either, but 3000 is a lot. And I think a recent student, he took the course, James took the course in October. Um, you know, he said his kid rolled it, their eyes at him. I don't know if he has teenagers or what. You know, if they're teenagers, probably no matter what he paid, they'd roll their eyes. But they thought he was crazy. But now they see what he's doing. And, uh, you know, he's up. A good percentage since October, especially, which is only a few months. He has about 15 strategies already, so he's really been working at it. You know, most people get a couple, one or two a month. Uh, it takes them a while to get going, but he's had success with it. So it, it's definitely justified. All right, so with that, um, again, you know, go to my website, sign up. You can read about it. You can get some inf more information if you want. Uh, if you have questions, I'll give you my uh, email address at the end. Feel free to email me. And I know we have uh, some questions, so I'll get to those in a second. But first, I want to get to the autograph book. Okay, so I'm going to ask a question, and uh, either in the question box, yeah, in the question box, just type your answer. And I'm going to give to the fourth correct answer uh, will win the book. So that way you don't have to be super fast, but you can't be too slow either. And the question is, what holds most traders back? It's kind of a trick question because there's multiple answers you could give. So 
Um, up oh, there we go. Okay, so uh, pretty much everybody's got fear. So uh, and that was the case the first time. But uh, Wiley, uh, you are the fourth winner. But uh, Tom, Mukesh, Mark, Jason, you all got the the right answer. But Wiley was number four. So Wiley, just uh, email me after and just tell me you won, and I will uh, get your address and get this out to you. So the answer I was looking for there, fear of failure was one, inability to develop strategies, not creating enough. You know, that, all those things hold people back. Okay, so with that, I'll um, start going through your questions now. There were, there were some questions. In the meantime, I'll just put this up there. And if you have a question for me, feel free. If you don't want to type it now, leave me a message. Uh, you know, call my, this is my cell phone. Goes, it'll go right to voicemail. Send me an email. You know, if there's something that's really just kind of, oh, I just need this one question answered before I sign up. Just do it. I'll answer. And, you, and you know what? It might be, hey, do you think this is appropriate for me? And trust me, I'm not going to tell you to take a course that I think is inappropriate for you. Uh, I can't tell you how many new traders uh, I get. Hey, I, I just started trading. Should I take your course? I'm like, no, don't. I said, you'd be wasting your money right now. So you got to need to get educated. You got to learn futures. You got to learn your trading platform. You got to learn how to program some strategies. Then, if you're still into it, then maybe take my course. And I know what's going to end up happening is those people just leave and go to somebody who's going to take their money. But I'm not like that. I'm, I'm only going to work with people who can succeed. Why? Well, part of it's I've got all these students as part of the club. And they want more people participating, right? The more people in that club, boy, when you pass a strategy to get 10 strategies from other people, that's so awesome. But you get that by having people who have a certain level of experience and competence. And so that's what I help do. All right. So um, let's kind of go through. Mark had a question about what prerequisites would you consider important? Actually, I just answered that. <laughs> and I did not realize it. You should, you got to know about futures. You know, we trade mainly futures. This works with stocks. It'll work with Forex, but uh, there's some tricks to both of those. But most of the people who are doing this are trading futures. So if you don't know futures, you really want to learn it. That's the first part. Two, you want to have a trading platform that you feel comfortable with. I use TradeStation. I think it's great. I, and if you know TradeStation uh, and you use it, I can help you out if you have minor questions. You know, you don't have to waste time talking to TradeStation support because, you know, sometimes they know less than you do. So that's the second part. And three, you should know how to program your own strategies. And if you can program, uh, say, a moving average crossover strategy, you probably know enough to at least uh, start. Because I give you, you know, as part of this, I give you five strategies. You can tear those apart and, and oh, what's he doing? Oh, I get it. Oh, that's how he's he's doing some kind of trailing thing there. And that's how you learn, really, by doing this over and over again. So those are really the prerequisites. So if you're brand new to trading, Get educated first, um, and if you want to know how to do that, send me an email. I'll give you some guides uh, to help you start, and then come back in a little bit. Most people who take this course probably have one to uh, – I had one guy who had 40 years of experience, so one to 40 years. Uh, very few that, that were zero to one year. Uh, there probably were a few, but um, that's, that's probably not the, the best way. So Pat uh, had a question. Uh, uh, he's oh, he said he's going to email me. I wonder how much money you should ha have available then to trade live. That's a good question because um, the things you got to think about are, you know, when I started doing this, I, I only had money. I had about five thousand dollars in my account, and I went live with one strategy and. 
oh, was that scary because, man, you're relying on that one strategy. And, you know, your strategies aren't going to be perfect. And they can go through drawdowns. It seems like every time I start a new strategy, it starts out in a drawdown. I'm like, what? How does that happen? But it does. So you want to be able to start with like maybe three strategies or maybe five. So, you know, starting out with $5,000 isn't going to do it. But how much do you need? It really depends on the strategies and it depends on your risk tolerance. It's funny. Most people, their risk, toler their risk tolerance is... In terms of percentage so I mean I don't want to lose more than 20% of my account or 50% of my account or whatever um, and so you got to keep that in mind and then kind of look kind of look at it but you know you definitely want to start with enough to to try to do two or three strategies uh, pretty quickly you may not start exactly with that and there's a huge number of benefits to trading multiple strategies besides the correlation but there's also that psychological part um, it's pretty good okay um, Jason's asking about uh, upcoming dates for courses so I have one I have two two scheduled right now it's uh, January 26 which is next Friday which it sounds like Jason's in Australia so that would actually be like a Saturday for you Jason right it would be uh, like Friday night into Saturday morning. So it would be an all-nighter for you. And then I have one in late February. And beyond that, I don't really know um, just because I like to keep it open. Because like I said, i got to make sure my full-time trading takes precedence. And I also got to make sure that I have enough time to support everybody who's still active in the club and that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, the one thing you can do if you are in Australia or Hong Kong or somewhere like that, because people have taken this course from there, what uh, many of them do is they'll stay awake as long as they can and then listen to the, less, the rest as a recording. Some people will do half the class today and they'll do it live, listen to the recording of the other half, and then the next month they'll pick up the other half live. So that way they're not pulling an all-nighter. They wake up just early or stay up late. That works out real well. Um, you know, so that's what I would consider. But that, people definitely do it. Uh, Graham's saying, how much technical programming skills are required? Um, well, I would probably say, Graham, if... If I told you, hey, uh, program a strategy that buys a 10-bar breakout and sells short on a 5-bar breakout with a stop loss of $1,000. And if you could just take what I just said and put, make a strategy around it, you probably have enough. And you might say, wow, that's simple. You know, I need all kinds of parabolic stops and filters and chandelier exits and all this stuff. My philosophy is simple is better. Um, the simpler the strategy, the better off you are. Uh, the drawback to it is you have to endure some more drawdowns and stuff, but you want something simple. You want it something that's simple that's worked over time. You know, think about earlier what I said with the guy with a hundred some variables that was a complicated system and it didn't work and that's typically what people with complicated systems the problem they run into it's so complicated so fit to the history of the market you're looking at that it won't work going forward and you got to watch out for that so um, if you can program what I had just mentioned you're probably good enough okay um, and kit Hopefully I pronounced your name right. It says, how long does it take on average for a developer to develop a system for a beginner? Um, okay, so let's just say you know your platform, you know how to program, and you start working at it. Uh, I've had people who within a couple weeks have created their first strategy that have passed all the rules. Uh, and some have created a couple strategies. Now... That's some people. Other people, takes a couple months to develop the first strategy. The first couple are going to be hard. 
because you're going to be kind of floundering around. But after you get used to it a little bit, it starts to become easier. And the goal, I think for a lot of people, is uh, they want to participate in this club. And the way the club works is it's basically one strategy a month you could submit. So their goal is to create a strategy every month. And you might say, wow, I mean, I'm not going to get anywhere with that. Well, think about it. You do that for a year, you've got 12 of your own strategies at the end of the year. Wow, that's pretty cool. And you do it the second year, now you've got 24 strategies. And if you pass the club, you'll get some other people's strategies. And maybe you won't trade those exactly. Maybe you'll take them and modify them. That's what a lot of people do. They like to put their own touches on things. But right there, you're, you're already dealing with a strategy that's already kind of been tested. It's been tested, been live tracked. So very quickly, you can build up your strategies. And the problem that a lot of students are starting to run into is they have more strategies than they do capital to support it, even trading one contract. You know, they might, you know, I mentioned, uh, Eric is, I think he's trading around 60 strategies or so, and and um, he's running out of capital to trade it. So that's that's a good thing. You know, you want more strategies. So that's, it's variable, but hey, you know, the only thing I can promise you is when you're struggling, if you let me know, I can help you as much as I can and get you over that hump for those first couple. All right. Well, we've kind of gone over a little bit. Um, but you guys asked some great questions, so I wanted to make sure I answered them. So think about what we talked about today, and if you're if you really want to change what you're doing and change your whole philosophy of of trading and how you approach things and looking for that holy grail and looking for perfection and uh, you know having that fear. Um, I can't guarantee you're going to have success if you work with me, but I do everything I can to help people succeed. And, and, you know, to me, the biggest validation of all this teaching I've done was all those 27 people coming from all over the world last year, coming to Cleveland to spend a four day weekend with me developing strategies that to me said, hey, we already took the class. We found enough value that, hey, we're coming for more. And that is a pretty good validation because some of these guys, some are hedge fund traders, uh, some are private retired people, full-time, part-time, uh, a wide mix, but they found value in it. So, again, go to my website. If you have questions, send me an email, kdavy at kjtradingsystems.com. And, uh, hey, I appreciate everybody in there. Uh, Wiley, I will uh, be looking for your email so I can get your book out to you. And uh, I just want to thank everybody for attending. Okay. Thanks, everyone.